legs and are shaped like this. You hold your butt cheek, you know, or you bend. And you if you've it. never had razor bumps, clap for yourself. Because <laughs> I have gone through it. I have faced my razor bumps days. But <laughs> gone on those days, I found my routine and I found my secret that has helped me have a smooth shaving without razor bumps. And that's why we're here. So I'm going to show you all how I shave. Okay, I'm not going to show you my coochie. <laughs> no, but I'm going to try my best to, you know, demonstrate, to show you all how I shave and what I use. Enough of the talking and follow me. <laughs> if you want to miss everything else, don't miss this one because I found this one to be the very important thing that has really, really helped me avoid the itches and the razor bumps. And that is dry brushing with the dry brush. This before you even get into the shower and wet yourself or wet the areas that you want to shave, you need a dry brush. So you just dry brush that area. Let me show you guys. Let me show you guys so you see it. So you dry brush. And you dry brush the area so that's what i do so i dry brush that area before i get into the shower and i do it down like this and my armpits the same way i do this i dry brush the area dry brush it and trust me when you dry brush you will see like the dead cells coming out so you really see like your dry skin you know i, I can't explain when you do it you know what i'm talking about but this is very very important it also exfoliates your, your your skin and it gets rid of the dead cells so that when you finish shaving the new hair can grow out without having to grow back inside because you know that's what um, causes the razor bone when it grows it goes back into the skin and that's when you start having the itches and the razor bones so this dry brushing it really really helps with that okay don't miss this step it's very very important so the next thing that i do after dry brushing i wet the area so again i'm going to show you guys so yeah so so that's it i wet the area like this okay so after wetting you know when i've wet the area and even here then i use my non-scented soap so you guys know again go watch my um skincare routine you'll see all these products i'm using so i use the non-scented pure castle soap focus focus okay so this one i use this is the only product i'll say i use during my shaving so this is it so after i wet the area i'll just take some you know out and like this i rub okay I rub inside, I rub, I rub, don't forget your butthole too, <laughs> I rub inside, okay, I rub, then the same with my armpit too, I rub and I rub, again, when you wet the area, you know, it makes the um, hair soft, you know, so that your hair is not dry when you're shaving, again, don't shave on a dry hair or dry skin, do not shave, it will irritate your skin and it's not good, so don't shave on a dry skin or a, um, a dry coarse hair do not so when i've wet it okay it's wet wet it and it is wet and it is wet so the next thing i do is i use the venus gillet and the reason why i use this one because it has five blades so you need to use the shave um yeah the shaver that has five blades so anyone has two or three please don't use that i've used it before and <laughs> i don't want to tell you the experience but do not do not use two or three shaving blades use five shaving blades so i use this because it helps with the edge to you know give a really smooth shaving and it has like um a slimy thing so i'm going to show you guys so it's like here you know here it's like slimy that makes the shaving smooth so with the soap you know and the gliding here makes it smooth so it's easy to shave okay so as i've wet the area again like i've talked a lot so it's drying up but when so when i wet the area like this and 
come back with soap. Then this, I wet this because when you wet it again, it has that slimy lubricant here. You know, so I wet this. Okay, ready? Then now I just shake it. Okay, I just shake it smoothly like this. I want you guys to see a close look. See this? Like this one too. You see this one has some hair? And I just shake it. So you will notice I don't shake opposite because the hair goes downward. So if the hair goes downward, you have to shake this water. So if the hair goes downward, you have to shave downward. Okay, so if they if you don't want to shave opposite like this, no, shave like this, this way, shave like this, this way. So you follow it down like this, like this. Because that's how my hair grows. So now coming to here, okay, this is the most important part. This one is easy for me. This is the most important part. Let me show you guys. Let me go lower so you see the whole demonstration. Okay. Alrighty. So let me rinse this out. So we lower, okay? So you're shaving, the hair grows down. Okay, it goes like this, and sometimes it goes like this. Alright? So I shave like this. You see, I shave like this. <laughs> Coming to the cushion part, which is here. Okay. So sometimes if you want to stoop, it's good, or you open your legs. So open your legs, <laughs> guys. This is for you all, my ladies. So open your legs and you do it like this. So this is how I do it. I do it like this. You know, I shave like this. Because that's how my hair grows. It goes like this, like this, and like this. Okay? So I open my legs and I shave like this. You see? Shave like this. Shave like this. Then the other side, so I open my legs and I shave like this. You see this? Like that? Mm hmm So now then you know of course the skin here you then now just you know shave it down shave it down you shave it down you know shave it down you see just shave it down shave it down then the butthole <laughs> you know you have hair in your butthole too that part is really tricky even for me it's tricky but i don't really be worrying too much so i do that just once or twice like i don't do it every shave i do it when i've done it i've not done it for a long time okay so i just go inside i open my legs then I hold my butt cheeks because, you know, I, I get some <laughs> amount of ads, you know. So I hold my butt cheek and I open it and I do this, you know, go inside and I shave like this. I go inside and I do it carefully with the blade and it makes it easier. This thing, it really makes the shaving easier. So I just go inside and I shave like this and I shave like this, you know. Or you can stoop, you can stoop and really go inside. Oh, <laughs> guys, this is funny, but... I have to show you that because even me when i watch videos sometimes when they just talk i explain it's not enough so i really wish someone can really really do it and show it you know so i had to you know show you that so or sometimes butt cheek you hold your butt cheek you know or you bend and you kind of get inside and you do it kind of like you know get inside and shave get inside and shave so that's the most i can show you that again shave following the direction of your hair so how it grows don't shave opposite don't shave like this nope mm -mm. nope shave like this like this shave like that down following the hair shave. so after so after you finish shaving you know you want to of course rinse it off rinse off wash off to make sure that you know you shaved enough how you wanted it if there's any miss spot you go back to it again and you shave again you know Again, you just do it carefully. You just go down carefully. Just do so it. Another thing is when you're washing down here, I always recommend using an exfoliating hand, you know, wash because this is, you know, it's a little bit rough, but it's gentle when it's wet because you know when your skin is wet, it's more soft and um, sensitive. So using a wet scrub, this when your skin is wet, it's preferred. Use this. So I use this, you know, and I just wash it down. So I scrub, scrub, scrub. Near your butthole, go there, scrub, scrub. So after I shave and I take my shower, when I come out, 
the next thing is like when i dry myself i'm i'm not rough on that area that I shaved because now it's a little bit you know sensitive so i kind of like you know tap towel tap on the area that I shaved you know the armpit and down there and next thing i just go in with my nivea you know intense healing nivea this has always been my body lotion and i use it down there too when i'm just rubbing i just go down there and i rub because it says intense healing and nourishing moisture poor vitamin b5 so it moisturizes to help heal very dry and rough skin what more do i need because i don't want down there to be dry and rough so i go in with this and that's it same with my armpits same with my armpit i just go in and that's it all those other products that other people listed out i personally don't use them so i can't really say much about them after this like the next day before i go back in the shower i go back again with my dry brush and brush that area again you know i do it like twice like the next day i brush again or maybe the third day it's up to you but for me when i do it two times that's it i will not feel any itches or any bombs or any I, I i don't feel all that so the next day if i'm going to the shower i dry brush because normally i always try to dry brush at least three times a week you know so i just do when i'm dry brushing my body you know my arms everywhere i do it too i dry brush down there and that's it guys and yeah i hope you really enjoy i tried my best to show you all how i do it you know without showing you my coochie <coughs> But yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to some subscribe and watch my um skin um my shower routine. It's gonna put, I'm gonna put the link up here or in my description box. And if you have any questions, you know, just let me know and I will do my best to respond. Okay. Thank you all so much for watching and see you in my next video.